What up LEGO fans, QC Fries here and welcome to quick build number 12. Today we're going to be building set number 7913, the Clone Trooper Battle Pack. This set um, was released back in 2011 and retailed for $13. I did not know that. I remember buying this set. We were at Target and I begged my mom to get it for me because the orange clone troopers look so cool. Um, but I thought it was 15 bucks. I guess not $13, very great price for a battle pack. Um, usually battle packs are $15, but of course now we have the 501st battle pack coming out, which is 30 bucks. Um, but yeah, this set um, consists of 85 pieces and includes four minifigures, as you can see there on the instructions. I do have the box. Um, it's actually in very good condition. I'm kind of surprised because um, I got these sets when I was younger. And um, I mean, I would, I had a tendency to not take care of the boxes, but it looks great. Here you have the front, nice little action shot. The back is just more the kind of versus battle pack for this was the Mandalorian battle pack, which I did have. Now I don't have any of the Mandalorians or the builds, unfortunately, which stinks because this is also a very popular battle pack. Um, but yeah, but this set has increased a lot um, uh, in value, a lot uh, over retirement. I think right now you can get one used for 30 bucks is like the minimum and the brand new in box. I want to say 60, I'm not entirely sure, um, but it's mainly because of the variety of clone troopers you're getting. So yeah, now we're gonna get into the build, guys. Also guys, if you haven't already, feel free to smash that like button and subscribe for some more LEGO Star Wars content. In addition, check out the other videos I have on my channel. I have some more LEGO Star Wars time-lapse builds, some Call of Duty gameplay, and some vlogs. So yeah, feel free to check those out. In addition, guys, Make sure you check out, I posted a video, by the time this goes up, will be, will, it would have been two days ago. Um, it's a kind of a how-to tutorial video on how you guys can um, uh, get the 501st Battle Packs early, as well as the other LEGO Star Wars time-lapse, or time-lapse, sorry, the other LEGO Star Wars Summer 2020 sets um, through Target, because they are gonna be coming out early uh, in the US at Target. So yeah, make sure to check that out. And now, let's get into the build. So I am all done with the build and building the minifigure. So now we're gonna get into the review of the actual speeder build and then the minifigure. All right guys, so here we have our build, which is a very nice little bark speeder. Um, this was, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong, but this is the first time that they made the speeder design, at least like this. Um, they have made speeders before for clones, but they looked a little different. This one just looks very um, kind of modern and very sleek great looking um i really like the color selection the white with gray and that green because it matches with the clone troopers um and it just looks great it's got nice little handlebars right here for your clones to hang on uh hang on to in addition you have these nice little um grappling hook or i mean harpoon gun uh details to add detail to the speeder um this thing doesn't really have any play features rather than except other than, you know, you can move these so your character can kind of pull them full throttle and then like pull it back kind of thing. In addition, you can swoosh it, kind of move it around like that, like a speeder would. Um, you do have a uh, room to put in a clone trooper there, which I'm gonna do to show you guys how it looks like. You gotta move the handles a little bit. There he goes. Um, he fits perfectly in there. It looks great. Looks awesome. And yeah, so I mean, this is just a very simple build, nothing much to it. And yeah, so now we're gonna get into the review of the minifigures. Okay guys, so as I mentioned before, this set does come with four minifigures. This is our first minifigure right here, which is an ARF Trooper. Um, I might be wrong, I'm 95% sure this is the first time the ARF Trooper clone minifigure was ever made and put into a set. He looks very great. He is very gener generic, has the Clone Wars uh, body and Clone Wars legs, um, but the only difference is his helmet which looks really cool. Kind of looks like a scout um, uh, trooper uh, helmet. Looks very nice. Has a very, very cool design. This is one of my favorite helmets in all of Star Wars in the, uh, as far as it goes for clones. He does have some back printing. Comes with a long sniper rifle. 
does have his normal Clone Wars clone head, which this one, I don't know why, happens to look very uh, more creepy than the other ones. Uh, but yeah, he looks very great. I wish he had some more greenish color to him, but yeah. All right, guys, and here we have our next minifigure, which is just a normal clone trooper. Um, he is not, however, normal. Um, his name on the box is just Clone Trooper, doesn't have a special name, but as you can see, he has some very nice kind of forest green, lightish green, and uh, lemon colored, I guess, neon green markings, and he just looks very, very cool. He has green all around his torso, the front and back, and his helmet too. Has some very nice light printing, which is very cool. You didn't really see light printing in these, um, uh, on these Clone Wars minifigures, um, the clones, I mean. But yeah, looks very cool, very interesting. Um, this clone right here is the main reason why this set uh, has gone up in value because it's just clones, um, the Clone Wars clones that have interesting patterns and colors have gone up in value. He does have a normal clone head, comes with two little kind of blaster pistols, looks very nice. And this guy, it was a very tough battle between who, which one was my favorite minifigure of the set, but I think you guys will also agree with my decision once we go to the next minifigure. All right guys, so here we have our final minifigure of the set, which is a Bomb Squad Clone Trooper. Um, this guy, as you can tell, looks very, very unique and interesting. This is uh, never before seen. Um, I'm pretty sure they have shown this guy in the show. Um, can't really remember off the top of my head, but he just looks phenomenal. That orange color, predominantly orange with some white, just looks great. Um, his face, uh, his helmet, I mean, in the space where it looks like there should be white, it's kind of like a... I don't know, It's it looks really pinkish, like super duper light pink rather than white, um, but I, I think that's just normal. But this guy just looks so cool. I love the orange color. It just kind of pops out at you. He does have a normal clone head. Does come with a blaster pistol. The set does come with two of them. Here's the other one. The other one comes with a long uh, sniper rifle, but these guys just look phenomenal. And this is another reason why this set has just gone up in value so much, just because these guys are so unique and just They've never made these ever, and they just look awesome. And I love the orange color, just super duper unique clone troopers, so yeah. All right guys, so that is gonna be it for our uh, quick build number 12 of set number 7913, the clone troopers battle pack. I really had fun building this. Um, it's a very, again, nostalgic build for me. Um, I remember, the, see, I literally remember this set when it was on the shelves. I don't know if it was the first day it came out or what, but I just remember it and I was like, mom, please get this for me. And she did, cause she's awesome. So yeah, but I really love this set. I really love the minifigures and I really like building these things for you guys and do, making quick builds and other Lego uh, Star Wars videos. So yeah, um, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, feel free to smash that like button and subscribe for some more Lego Star Wars content. In addition, check out the other videos I have on my channel. I have some more Lego Star Wars time-lapse builds, some Call of Duty gameplay, and some vlogs. So yeah, that's gonna be it uh, today from me, guys. This is QC Fries and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.